Welcome to Kathy's Eclectic Garden. I'm Kathy and I garden in zones 5B, 6A. Um, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not in a zone 5B anymore. I'm in a full zone 6A now. That's because the USDA plant hardiness zone map for 2023 has just been released. They haven't released a map since 2012 and the new map has a 30 year average and that's how they developed the new map. To learn about how the new map was created. Gardner Scott, if you are familiar with his web or his YouTube channel, he has a new video out on how this was created and how he helped in the creation of the new map. I will put a link to his website and to that video on the description along with the links to the USDA website and the links to the maps and how you can use them. The new uh, range map is really not going to make that big a difference in how I garden. If you grow mostly vegetables you probably won't notice a whole lot of difference. The big difference is in perennials. Now I will be able to plant full zone 6a perennials in my yard and not have to worry too much about them dying over the winter and that type of thing. Our range of temperatures for last year ranged from just below zero in January and February to up over 100 degrees this summer. So I've got a wide range of temperatures, but the hardiness zones are based mainly on your average low temperature for any given month. Another reason this will not have a lot of uh, impact on the way I garden is because I grow mostly natives. And natives are already acclimated to the temperatures and variations in temperatures in my area. So it's, as long as I'm planting natives to my area, it shouldn't make a big difference. Well, I just wanted to make a little short video to let you know if you didn't already know about the new hardiness zone maps. And if you have not seen them yet, uh, check the link out in my description and Go to their website, they're interactive, and you can zoom right into your specific location to see what zone you are in now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.